Hello, my name is Balan Verheyen. I am from Studio Louter in Amsterdam. We are a content design studio and uh, we design stories, narratives, and um, interpretive plans for museums. And my name is Jeroen Luttekhuis. I'm creative director at Opera Amsterdam. And we are an Amsterdam based office and designing exhibitions in museums. Uh, we were very honored to have won the Museum and Heritage Award for the best international exhibition uh, with a budget uh, less than 1 million. So very grateful for that. And today we are going to show you a short presentation about this exhibition. The exhibition was called A Shifting Image in Search of Your Own Maurits. And it all started with a statue, this statue. It was the statue of Johan Maurits. Um, the founder of the Maurits House in a way because he built the um, building that that museum is in and he's the name giver of the Maurits House. Um, and this statue was actually a copy that was standing in a castle in Germany and in 2018 the museum decided to take the statue away not only because it was a copy but also because um, uh, the name giver was involved in slave trade and a controversial figure. Um, so who was Joan Maurits? Well, he was a colonial governor of Brazil in the 17th century and um, he did a lot of good things there. For example, he did a lot about science and he was a uh, they called him kind of enlightened for his time. However, he was also um, involved uh, in um, the transatlantic slave trade. Um, when the muse museum decided to take away his statue, there was a large public outcry and a, a heated debate about if it was good or bad. And even politicians were involved in this discussion and things were shouted like as if you become a better person by overturning statues and erasing names or how can you become a director of the Maurits house with such an IQ it's a shame and on the other side maybe it would be better to demolish the whole house after all it was built for him and with his money that was earned in the slave trade so it was a polarized debate. And um, it was in the press, on television, really um, the heated point of a public debate. So Emily Kordenker, the director, thought that she should make an exhibition about this because it was really important for the Mount House to see what the roots of the Institute are. So she said, let's make an exhibition about the name Kiffer. Let, let's do research about the role of the Netherlands in Dutch Brazil. And uh, let's try and see what the facts are in this heated debate. Because actually, she said, a museum has a function because it should facilitate public debate. But the role of the museum should be, museum should be to come up with the facts and give people a chance to reflect and to have a debate. So let's have a look at the exhibition itself. <clears throat> In the exhibition, uh, the visitor starts with meeting the statue where it all started with, uh, which triggered the debate. And as you see, it's, it's backed with a wall. And the wall is uh, <clears throat> made of molded uh, statues of Maurits and we use the wall to project the Twitter storm on it. And I think in this, ex in this image you clearly sh see the, the overall concept of the exhibition and it's really about layering. Um, in fact there's four layers in it. I think the uh, most important one is uh, the actual object itself. That's where it started. But as you see, there's a layer of uh, paintings behind it and objects. And that's the second layer. And these are paintings for him or about him or of him. And the third layer 
is behind these paintings. And it's a panorama, it's a backdrop of animated projections. And these projections, they highlight the, the biographic facts of Maurits, um, but also the uncomfortable facts. Um, then there's a, uh, a fourth layer, and it's all about the object labels, the small object labels next to the paintings. Um, these were interactive screens, so um, the visitors could browse through different object labels, and every object label gave the opinion or the view of one of 32 specialists and scientists that were asked to help with this exhibition. And you could see how the perspective of how you see an object or a painting is really uh, also um, uh, defines how what your position is in a debate, or in, that there are many perspectives possible. So for example, Emily Kordenker, the director, described this painting as an art historian, um, uh, mentioning the painter and what kind of objects he used to um, symbolize the meaning of the painting, while Wayne Modest, who is more um, involved in the public debate, is really focusing on the black servant or enslaved man on the left. And he asks us, who was he? Was he an enslaved person? As the title, title suggests, was he a servant? It's the dehumanizing power of colonialism reduced to a black young man, to property, even to an accessory. So this really shows you that two people from their own speciality give completely different object label text. So the visitor was, uh, 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 the visitor could browse through all these uh, subjective and interactive uh, object labels. Um, the Maoist House also started a research project, a project that was finished this year, uh, or it is in midterm. So the first results came out. Um, and um, for them, it was very important to communicate this to the public, but also to make them part of the research project and ask them, what would you like to be researched when we are going to start up this research project? So the uh, visitors really involved in the discussion and in the making of the exhibition and in the research project. Yes, and as a last part of the exhibition, and you already saw it in the prior image, we uh, decided to build a large model. Historically, the Maurits house was called the Sugar Palace. That's because Maurits, he built the house. Uh, he earned his money uh, by the sugar plants in Brazil. So therefore, we decided to build a large model of the museum, of the building, completely out of sugar cubes, many thousands of them. And with this installation, we hope that the uh, uh, that, that, that this triggers a discussion uh, and a reflection by the visitor of this part of our history. Um, I think that we are really proud of this exhibition and the Maui's House was as well. It was really received well by all different kinds of groups in society because we really facilitated the debate without giving it too much uh, of a direction. And Emily Kordenker was interviewed by the New York Times and her conclusion was, what we have learned from this is that our mandate as a public institution is to offer as many perspectives as possible. It's up to you as a visitor to form your own opinions. We realize that there's a very large gray area between the two poles and that's where we want to be as a museum, in that gray area. Thank you. Thank you.